All right, well, it is Labor Day, Monday, September 4th or something like that, and uh, I'm not too far from home. I got plans later this afternoon to hang out with some friends, so I thought I'd come somewhere local. And I'm looking for something called the Potato Patch. Busy road here, so. But uh, I was here looking for this the other day and I couldn't find it, but I'm in the right location this time, I think. And I do see a trail going off down that way. So I'm pretty sure I'm in the right location. All right, let's get away from this busy road. I'll talk more about what the potato patch is as we get further down. All right, well, I should mention too that this is Route 322 here in, in Lebanon County, in Southern Lebanon County. It's a rather busy road. And I am, I'm between Brickerville and uh, in the Lebanon area here on 322. Maybe about two miles uh, west of Brickerville. Well, there's a pretty well-defined path here. Looks like there's a trail that comes up from that way too. Well, we're away from that traffic noise a little bit better now. But yeah, this is this is called the potato patch. This is with the uh, like a rock formation out here of boulders and stuff. This is pretty cool to look at. Actually, there's quite a few trails going around the area here. So I'm not sure. I've seen a few pictures online of this place. Um, so this is a pretty cool. And there's going to be a lot of graffiti here too at this spot. But uh, we're going to check it out. So I got a couple hours this morning before I got to, like I said, before I got hang out with friends on Labor Day. So, like I was trying to say up there, this is about uh, two miles west of Brookerville along Route 322. I can give you the coordinates of this of the parking area if you want in the, in the if you ask ask me for them. And I'm pretty sure in the right direction. A lot of trash, a lot of graffiti is telling me that uh, I'm headed in the right way. I was here. I guess I mentioned that earlier. I was here a couple days. A couple days ago looking for this place but I, I had parked at the wrong spot didn't find what I was looking for yep yeah, this is the spot see rocks and graffiti it, go, it does go up pretty far up there well we're just gonna walk around and explore a little bit Yeah, so this is the potato patch. It does go up pretty far. I see more than what shows on the camera. But there is a ton of graffiti here. I knew that one. I, I'd seen that before I came here when I saw some pictures online and read some other articles about it, but it is what it is. Maybe we'll... Some of, it, some of it's kind of funny and some of it's kind of offensive. Maybe I'll show you some of the funnier ones if I can find those, but... Yeah, that's the way it is. The local local teens come out here and this is what they do. Alright, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make my way all the way up to the top where it ends up there. Rocks are kind of slippery this morning, but yeah well. Alright, let's walk around. Alright, well I didn't make it very far, but I gotta show you something down there. There's like little caves down here, but there's a there's a kind of plant down there that I want to show you. you gotta get down there first. Well, there are all kinds of like little mini caverns down here. Filled with trash. Looks like a pizza box. Gatorade and beer. Looks like a little pool of water back there. I was like, looks like a muffler. What in the world? All right, well, enough of that. Let me get situated, it's kind of tight down here. I guess you can see it without the flashlight. This, these berries right here, this is called Baneberry. A, a nickname for them is Doll's Eyes, because they look like the eyes of a, a doll. 
the white, and then the black. These are actually poisonous, so it's called Bane Berry. They're kind of cool looking. Kind of creepy, too. Doll's eyes. All right. Well, there's a good fall down there. Huh. Yeah, part of me wants to go down there. Of course, getting down would not be so much of a problem. Getting back out would be. It looks like it just ends right up there. It's a bunch of Gatorade bottles way up in there. Another trash. That's pretty deep, though. Yeah, I could drop down in there, but I don't think I'd be able to get back out. Yeah, just surrounded by boulders. And it's it's becoming it's a nice little adventure. It's just difficult to film and hold the camera at the same time. <clears throat> Well, that didn't make any sense. I said it was difficult to film and hold the camera at the same time. I mean, it's difficult to climb over these rocks and film at the same time. Yeah. These little cave areas are intriguing, they're just not really accessible, except for people's garbage. Huh. Yeah, you probably can't tell on camera, but the, the farther you get to the top, the more the, the worse the graffiti gets. Somebody's just got to jump from rock to rock, too. Hail Hydra. I guess that's from watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on Netflix. Hail Hydra. A lot of graffiti. What we got there? It's kind of a dead flower. All over the rocks. Well, there's an eyeball with mushrooms growing out the top of it. So that's interesting. And there's another interesting cave thing down here. I see another pizza box. Whoops, that's not focusing, but there's a pizza box down there again. So it's obvious they come out here to spray paint and drink Gatorade beer and pizza. There's another cool mushroom. Yeah, some of the graffiti here isn't too bad, but it's quite a bit of it. Oh, there's another. I can get in that cave. Well, the climbing's getting a little bit more interesting. And if you don't want to climb on the rocks, from what I've read, there are trails that go up either side of this boulder field. If you just want to climb to the top or walk to the top, you can do that. I'm pretty sure that's what I read. I'll probably, I'll look, once I get to the top, I'll see if they're there. So I'll probably just walk those down instead of climbing back down.
yeah, the more I'm here, the more I'm kind of liking it. It is a fun climb to the top. When I first got when I was at the bottom, it just didn't look all that impressive, but I'm not saying it's super impressive, but it is kind of fun. I don't know that I would bring my kids here. I don't have any kids, but if I did, I'm not sure. Because the rocks are kind of slippy. You know, your kid could fall down one of those holes and you'd never see your kid again. <laughs> well, someone likes Ellie. Well, we're just about at the top. That rock covered in white paint represents the highest point on this hike. Well, I'm pretty much as far up as I need to go. Start making my way down. I think I'm gonna look for one of those side trails that goes down through along the edge of the woods. I'm not entirely sure what to think of this place. It's kind of, it's kind of what I was expecting, but uh, it, it was fun. At the start, maybe not so much, but the climbing got a little more interesting as you got higher up. They are just, the rocks are just kind of slippy this morning, so if you, you know, depending on when you come here, it's kind of tough. And I don't know that, like I said, I don't really know that, but I can't talk. I don't really know that I would bring kids here. If you did, you'd have to keep a hold of them the whole time, because like I said, they slip, they, they're gone, they're going down those holes and whatnot. I know I read about someone bringing their dogs here, I don't, that seems a little awkward. But there's tons of graffiti here, it kind of gives it an unnatural look, I don't really care for it. it. Almost makes it feel like you're in the city. There's just a little bit too much of it here. Most of it's pretty foul too. All kinds of weird stuff. But that's the way it is. Alright, but it's still, it's kind of a neat place though. Alright, start making my way down, hopefully. I, I guess I should describe what this place is, too. This is the reason these boulders are here. There's kind of a, a slight little gap in the mountain here, and uh, what happened was the soil that was on top of these rocks just washed away down into the, the creek that's down there. So these, these rocks are what's underneath most of the soil around here on the mountain. It's just at this place, because of runoff from the rain and stuff, the, the soil got washed away here and just left the, the rocks here. That's what happened here. So if you if you could dig away most of the mountainside, this is what it would look like if you took all the trees and the soil off. So that's what's going on here. Check this out, we got one of those giant millipedes climbing the rocks here too. They're pretty big. Yeah, there's there's poison ivy up on these rocks too. If you get that. Might want to be careful. Well, my attempt at finding an easier way down was pretty much a failure. There's still just rocks everywhere. But we're getting there. Well, I'm back on the main trail out. Yeah, so that is the potato patch. Nothing, nothing extraordinary, but I just thought I'd bring you along on these little adventures. Kind of a cool little place. Um, if you're local, it might help you find this place. The, di the directions online to get here were just were just awful. I mean, they're telling you to go. Um, like I said, this is near Brickerville, PA, where, where 322 and five, routes 501 five meet. You know, they're telling you to go northeast on 322 to this place, but this place is actually northwest of Brickerville, so the, the directions were awful. So, like I said, if you want, I can give you. I mean, maybe I'll just go ahead and put the coordinates in the description if I remember, but you can also ask me if you want to help find this place. There's just really no good directions online on how to get here. That's the way it is sometimes. All right, well, thanks for coming along, and I'll see you some other time. Have a good Labor Day. Of course, by the time you see us, Labor Day will be over, but anyway, have a good one anyway.